Along the same vein, I would like to tag DC Reefer. Um, also a great channel, not too many subscribers for some really odd reason <laughs> because I feel like he put up really great uh, information as well and always entertaining, so DC Reefer. I got challenged by um, popular local reefer um, that has so many subscribers on YouTube and, um, and one of my favorite channels, um, which is Inappropriate Reefer. Um, so I figured I'll um, shoot this quick video while I'm at work uh, because Probably won't get a chance when I, when I get at home at the tank. So, um, um, this challenge was initially um, issued by Psychedelic Babe, I believe, um, and it kind of spread it. So, it's that's a good thing. Uh, it's fine. So, it's actually ten, nine questions, and the last one is a a challenge question to three 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 YouTubers to um, answer the same question. So. Before I get started, um, I want to say um, I thank everybody for the um, condolences from my father who passed away of cancer um, last month. Um, it's a very hard time for us, and I know he's in a better place because he's not suffering no more. That's, that's the biggest thing, which lead me to this hoodie um, I bought, um, which is October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I, um, I work with a survivor of cancer, so um, um, I wear this every day um, in October in support of her, so um, check it out. It says, uh, beer for boobs. <laughs> it's a pink uh, beer, because I have a beard myself, so I um, just want to support um, all forms of cancer, because, you know, my dad passed away of cancer, and we're looking in the near future to find a cure, you know, with all the um, walks and all of the fundraisers. Um, I'm hoping that a cure is found. Question number one, fish or reef tank? Um, without a doubt, reef tank for me. Um, I like fish only, but um, you're kind of limited into what you could do. Um, and a lot of fish are aggressive, so unless you have a really big tank, um, fish only only really works on big tanks because um, small tanks, you know, a lot of fish can't. Um, it's too much aggressive, so they don't have enough room. So definitely reef tanks. I've seen beautiful large reef tanks. I've seen beautiful nano reef tanks all the way down to 10 gallons. So definitely reef tank. Um, question number two, soft or hard coral? For me, soft coral. Um, they're more forgiving, um, and I like the sway and the movement in soft cores. I like hard cores with SPS being one of them, um, but I haven't mastered that yet. And you gotta have your water parameters dead on point. So I'm a soft core person. I even like the mushrooms. Um, I like how they just fill in everything, so soft core. Which leads to question number three, what's your favorite core? Without a doubt, Euphilius. Um, from frog spawns to aqua spawns to um, um, torches to hammers. Um, my favorite coral actually is the Aussie Golden Torch. Um, it's a beautiful color. Um, the movement um, is just beautiful uh, coral. So I plan on getting that in my tank real soon. Um, sorry for the trying to hold this phone. Um, question number four is favorite fish, which is for me is a ras. Um, I like ras because they don't they not they don't get really really big. Um, they work in a nano tank and they also work in big tanks and medium sized tanks. So um, they have a lot of personality. They bury themselves in the sand. Um, their swim pattern is very unique because they go in and out the rock work. Um, and just beautiful colorations in them. Um, my actually favorite fish is the leopard ras, which I have three of them. Um, so, um, I'm going with the ras, definitely. Um, the least favorite coral, I know everybody picked the, um, they pick them on the, uh, the Xenia, <laughs> which is kind of cold, because um, 
they're beautiful coral, but they invasive. But for me, I would have to say the devil's hand. It's it's an ugly finger leather coil, um coral. I'm sorry, it's an ugly finger leather coral, um, and it's brown. So anything that's like brown in the retank, I really don't care for it too much. Um, cause it just remind me of algae. You know, <laughs> anything brown in the in the coral family is ugly. Um, the, my which is question number six, least favorite fish. I would have to say the damsel fish, my least favorite fish, um, being because first of all they're cheap, so that's not a bad thing actually. But they are really aggressive fish. Um, once you have them, I don't seen even, even one damsel fish, you know, terrorize a tank. Um, they're hard to catch once they get in your tank. A lot of people cycle their tanks with damsels, um, and they bully bigger fish that cost more than them, and which is crazy to me. Um, I don't understand why fish so small and so aggressive. So I guess they're like humans. They um they have that aggression. You know, a lot of humans are really aggressive because they're small. I don't know why, but you know, just aggressive. Um, question seven is homemade or commercial food? Definitely, I would have to say commercial because. Um, it's more convenient. Um, I couldn't imagine myself making food for my fish. Um, it's too much work. And one of my favorite commercial food is um, LRS um, Reef Frenzy. And my favorite is Hakari Mysis shrimp. My fish love it. It keeps the water clean. And um, and I'm a pellet guy also. So um, it's easy to, to deal with. Um, question eight is favorite like. Um, for me, it's a hybrid of um, metal halite, T5, and LEDs, actually. Um, I think you could achieve the best coral growth um, coloration um, with a combination of all three. Um, right now, I have T5s over my system with a reef bright LED strip, but I'm going to change that out because I missed the shimmer of metal halides. And... Um, I'm gonna keep the LED um, reef bright. So, and I'm actually gonna put a um, Ocean Revive LED fixture in the middle of both metal headlight pendants. So I wanna get the best of both worlds. Um, later on down there, I'll add some retrofit um, T5s to it. So I have the best of all three. So I think all three are uh, the gold standard to me. Um, question number nine, which is the last question, is my dream tank. Um, if it's a manufactured tank um, that's like off the shelf, I would have to say the Elos XL160, which is about 200 gallons. Um, that's a high end aquarium. Um, and every one I see is just beautiful. But my dream tank um, would be a custom build 72 by 36 by 24. Um, which was be, which would be a six foot tank by three foot by two feet high, um, which is a, roughly about 270 gallons. That's my dream tank. If I could afford that, if a Reef Savvy, um, if anybody from Reef Savvy, Felix from Reef Savvy, if you're watching and you want to feel like you want to just donate a tank to DC Reef, uh, like you feel like if you feel in your heart that you need a tank in the nation capital, I'm your guy. You could, I could be your guinea pig and I'll do whatever you say. I'll take that tank and care for it for the rest of my life. I won't ever get another tank. So Felix from Resavvy, if you're watching this and you just want to say, you know, I want to have a Resavvy in the nation's capital and I want it, you know, to be six foot by three foot by two feet. You got, you got to, you got a, a customer right here just willing to accept any donations you send my way. So that's my dream tank. Um, so last question, which is actually a challenge. I like to um, challenge three other YouTubers. Um, 915 Mag, um, Mofo Reef, and um, a local reefer, um, Tom Reefman202. If you're watching this, um, I'm issuing a challenge to you to um, answer these questions in your best ability. Um, 
And again, I'd like to thank um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Inappropriate Reefers. Thank you again, and this is DC Reefer. I'm out. Peace.